of stuff Do, do, do Do, do, do Do, do, do Rectech Lifestyle What's up, Rectech family? Watch this whole video and see if you can spot Rex. If you do, put in the comment section the timestamp that you see him and your favorite dish of the day and you may win something. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rectech lifestyle. Show him the meat, Jordan. Do, do. Show that fat meat. Do, do, do. It's just not the same. It is beautiful. <laughs> Look at those scrubs over there. We got some scrams. Everybody make sure we're can you see us? Can you hear us? We are not on Matt Acosta's page, right? No. Not on Matt's page. Are, are we on Jordan Johnson's page today? No, you're not popular enough for that. No. Oh, oh throwing right. shade already. Wow. Oh. Uh, ouch. Will you hear me the jingle bells? Ouch. Yikes. I just want to play a tune for everybody. They're kind of like maracas, maybe? Y'all can't hear that? No. What are you talking about? You can't hear it? It's the sound. We don't believe in the magic anymore, Jody. It's the sound of Christmas. Whoa. Oh. You got to... I think I hear a little something. Madeline, didn't you play play the bells in church? No, I just said that's what I remember. Oh. I think Harry played the bells in church. So, play with our bells later. <laughs> the, Brussels be the Brussels bells. Oh. Uh, Cheese and crackers. But yeah, Jordan, did you confirm and or deny if in fact they can hear us and see us? They can indeed hear us and see us, and I am proud to announce that Matthew L. Acosta is Lawrence. watching our show. Lawrence! <laughs> How are you? Tell uh, Belly Plop who said hello. It's a good one. Jordan, we need more interaction. We're waiting, on, not as, we're waiting not, on his response. Not as good as Matt. I'm sorry, guys. I'm no. still learning. Oh, still learning. Throwing shade again. Big, big shoes to fill. I choose to feel, you know? Yeah. We're just patting everybody on the back today. Well, today is November 16th. Oh, is it? It's National Indiana Day. Indians. Mm -hmm. Hello, Indiana. all Indianans. Indianians. You got anybody from Indiana out anybody there? Anybody uh, from the Indiana uh, suburb? It's probably kind of cold up in Indiana right now. It's probably freaking freezing right now, bro. I mean, I've got on long sleeves, and it's we're down south. It's so cold. It's 40 degrees this morning. If your girl needs a jacket... We've got cold weather covers cold weather available covers. at rectechgirls.com. You can. God, good segue. Jesus. Hello from Come Indiana, here. Scott Leininger. Hey! Scott, our favorite. Sugar friend. cream pies. Yes. Nice. And Jordan pronounced his name correctly, Leininger. Scott actually just uh, rehabbed an RT300 he picked up out of a salvage yard or something. That thing's looking pretty. Very cool. Very cool. But nice today we got, we got all sorts of good stuff today. Oh yeah, we do, we do. Um, besides being National Indiana Day, I thought we had other, another day. Wait for it's it. National fast, fast food. food Day. National Fast Food. I loathe fast food. I both love it and I hate it. Um, I can easily down. What is your favorite fast food item? Please. So As I a grab a... It pains me to say, I'll grab a bag full of McDonald's cheeseburgers, yes. and you just just throw them down. Yeah, like, no. you don't even. Tr like this, yeah. It's not beef. There's nothing. You just, I don't know. But then after that, you crush like six of them, you just feel, feel, really, yeah, bad. You feel really bad. I am a huge, huge fan of chicken nuggets. It's a good one. Man, white meat, dark meat. Chicken meat, pig meat, I don't care what it is. If it's a chicken nugget, I'm going to eat the crap out of it. Steak nuggets, you, oh. you dominate some steak. Anything kind of in that shape, God, battered steak, and fried. Steak nuggets bring me back. They bring me back. Oh, yeah, and it's also uh, button, day. button day. Button day. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to button our top button. Top button. Memory button day. There you go, top button. So, top button strong. But for those of you who do not watch us weekly, uh, we do have several contests that we conduct throughout the week. We have a YouTube contest where we upload all episodes of Fun Day Friday to YouTube, uh, and you have to watch that whole episode in order to uh, figure out how to participate, win yourself a Rectech prize pack, uh, and there's also a Caption This Tuesday that we do uh, that you can also win yourself a Rectech prize pack, and we conduct those, uh, the Caption This on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Correct, everybody? So this week, we had a great, uh, that wasn't the caption this photo, is it? No. It is not. So what was the caption this photo? So the caption this photo gator. Oh, was, it, was, it was Chef Greg holding the gator. Yep. That's right. And you guys who love to send gifts, that is also a GIF that you can download off of Giphy on your phone. And then you can actually send Chef Greg holding up an alligator to somebody. 
Um, Matt Lane's face is on there. My face is on there. There's some awesome grill gifts. So uh, let me remind you of that right now while I'm thinking about it. But everybody saw the caption this. We had a lot of great, um, a lot of great answers. But ultimately, Mr. Drew Doucette won with this amazing meme. So congratulations, Drew. Please contact Madeline at rectechgirls.com. That's Madeline, M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E -E at rectechgirls.com. And she will gladly get that Rectech prize pack. Congratulations. Woo! Happy Gilmore. That's a great move. Yeah. So many gifts are the way to go or memes with my face, Greg's face, Ben's face, Ray's face, Ron's face, any other faces posted on people. Like here is a previous winner. Jody and the Romp Him. Uh, and a romp, me and a Romp Him. I love that. Him. That was last week's winner. That's good. Yep. It's good. Looking good. Hit leg I'm day looking thin. You're, you, you put some work in leg Shaving day. my arms. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Drew Doucette, you will be forever memorized on the refrigerator now. Yeah, Drew. So congratulations. You Thank you. Congratulations, yeah. Drew. Uh, for our YouTube winner, with a correct answer of 50 minutes and 11 seconds, I'm not going to tell you how they got that or when they got that, but you got to watch the video uh, in order to figure out how to win it. But Jeff Nielsen, God, that son of a gun, Jeff Nielsen. Do you know him? I do not. Me neither. Congratulations, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Jeff. Again, please um, email. Do not call. Uh, do not Facebook message. Please email Madeline at rectechgirls.com, M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E, -E, at rectechgirls.com, plural. And she will gladly get that Rectech prize pack out there to you. Um, but last week was incredible. If you guys don't want to cook turkey uh, or ham for Thanksgiving, please watch last week's episode of Funday Friday. We had Capon, which I'm not going to tell you what that is. You've got to watch the episode to find out. We had Capon, Duck, and Goose. Yeah. So those are great alternatives to your Thanksgiving, right, sure Chef? Off the top of your head right now, what is another great alternative? You can do a standing rib roast, wow. what we're doing here. You can do a crown roast of pork. Um, oh, people crown are roast. doing. People are. I've gotten a couple of messages from folks doing briskets for the first time for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's a um, great, um, great, great, great large piece of meat that feeds a lot of people. And we've cooked so much turkey lately. I myself might might do a couple hams. I'm kind of turkeyed out, so I'm I'm ready for some some red meat here with these uh, these prime rib roasts. So what do we got going on uh, for this fun day Friday? What are folks going to learn? So we are going to do a couple different ways of standing rib roast. So these are going to be your prime rib roast, and we pick these up at the local grocery store. So when we go and we want to buy this, this is called a prime rib roast. Prime rib roast. And you'll okay. see them at the store. Now this is a four bone, see, four bone, one, two, three, four, and a three bone roast. And for those of you out there, the way they cut these, a whole prime rib is seven bones. We got four and we got three right here. So we cut this in half. Very cool. Always go for the three bone roast, and here's why. Wait, you're about to learn something. Pay attention. Get your notepads. You've got more spinalis on the three bone roast. And that's the most delicious okay. part of the rib. So basically, you've got a loin end and a rib end of that roast. And the three bone roast, you got more bang for your buck when it comes to meat. So they're always going to cut it this way, they no are. matter what. In because the butcher handbook, it is a sin to cut it any other way. So these will be between 18 and 20 pounds whole. And we bought two. Uh, we've got both of ours were 20 pounds. So these are basically right about 10 pounds. Okay, very cool. Now that is a very awesome so chef. Always there. go for the three bone roast. So always go for the three bone roast, everybody. You can you, you can buy them whole as seven bone if you want to. Mm -hmm. Is that economical, chef? You can. So you save a lot of money. So for example, right now, um, we won't name any names in public, right? The street. Excellent customer service in our meat department. Publix. We tried to go to a different store and we kind of got the boot. So we went over to our friends at Publix and they hooked it up. So these were on sale. $8.99. Whoa. So if you buy them like you see here. Normally $10.99 ish. Okay. $12.99. $12.99. Okay. So if you see them here, already packaged, cut in half, they are $14.99. So, so you're saving just, $6 so just by, that by one cutting cut. it in half. So you're, you're essentially That's getting 6 20 right pounds there. of meat for 10 pounds. It's a great value there. Yep. Um, and this is a great Thanksgiving alternative. This is an amazing Christmas mm -hmm. dinner. Um, Absolutely. To, to wow your friends. It's super, super easy. Mm -hmm. Right now, you're going to show everybody. Well, actually, we're, we're also going to do, we've got shrimp and grits. Okay. All so right. we've got that Charleston favorite. We've got some beautiful uh, stone ground white grits. Uh, those came from us from a mill in Columbia, South Carolina called Adlu. So if you Ooh. want some fantastic uh, seafood breaders and grits, A-D-L-U-H, uh, Adlu. They are fantastic. Um, in Columbia, South Carolina. And I'm sure there's a lot of folks up north that don't even have a clue what a grit is. So when I first moved down south, we were from, I'm from the north. We went to a diner, right? We went to Waffle House. 
freaking love them. So not only did we not go to a diner, but I got to experience Waffle House the first time, and they put grits in front of us, and we grew up in cream of wheat. Okay. And then we were And lost. that is essentially So uh, basically, oatmeal? it's what... So grits okay. is to corn as cream of wheat is to wheat. Okay, very so, cool. Um, but essentially, it's on the sweet side. You put sugar in it, not butter and salt. And, but we're going to do some delicious, creamy uh, grits. We're going to pair that up with some beautiful low country shrimp, sausage, peppers, corn. Mm. It's going to be delicious. Yes, but we'll so. show you how to prep a French roast as well as one that you see in the store. Now this, uh, we actually did this yesterday. We cut the bones off and tied it back up. And that's how you'll see it at the store. Okay, so we'll show you how to do one like that. You can pick up a couple different crusts. We've got a great recipe on the website for a herb crusted prime rib. Yeah, so Ray also rib, does a great that. prime rib as well. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, no, those shrimp are going to be amazing. A grit, guys, if you didn't know, is actually some it's ground up corn. Ground corn. Um, and then you know we essentially boil it. I like to put milk and butter in there mm -hmm. while we're boiling it um, to make them fluff up. And they're super super delicious, super super savory. But when we come back, what are we going to be doing, as chef, in segment two, chef? So we're going to be uh, cooking these rib roasts at 275 until an internal of about 135 degrees. Uh, we're going to be doing our grits and shrimp in the matador, and we'll show you a cool little okay. secret to that matador that you might or might not know. We're going to be roasting off these whole. Brussels sprouts. Yeah, these are stocks. Brussels sprouts, everybody. So we're gonna be cooking these cabbage, these holes. So we're gonna spray these with some duck fat, mm. hook them up with some of our delicious rubs, and we'll roast these off whole uh, in the back. But we will be coming back. But then we're gonna show everybody how you French this, right? We will absolutely cool. be doing that. So if you guys want to uh, learn how to do this, or if you know who, anybody who wants to learn how to do this, hit the share button right now. Give us some love. Thank you so much. We'll be back at what? Twelve o'clock. Yes, sir. Thank you guys so much. Fun day Friday. Do 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 do. A break. Take last day. Look at that deliciousness. Uh uh. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Whoa whoa whoa! Little yarn trick, little lasso Ooh. trick, everybody. Red Dead yeah, I learned that from the Yodeling Boy. Very popular. Yodeling. <laughs> Shout out to the Yodeling Boy. Saw him uh, last Tuesday. Guitar pool. Weird. It was the weirdest thing ever. Well, we were at God. Hazelhurst for the SCA event down there when Jody crushed it. Shout out Stephen Haskin. Guy was practicing the lassoing. On the green. On the putting green. I kid you not. Yeah, he had, like boy a had the lasso. Professional. He was fake a little fake on the putting green. There were some. There, he was also teaching some children how to do that. I yeah. guess that's real popular there in Hazelhurst. The caption that was hashtag only in Hazelhurst. Yeah. At the golf. At the country club. On the country putting club. green at their country club. Exciting times. Uh -huh. exciting so I had a guy call me last night. I was working late here at the office. Guy called. He says, hey, man, are you guys going to have any Black Friday deals? And I said, absolutely. And he said, so tell me about them. I said, I can't. And he said, my friend. He was like, how am I going to know about these great deals? And I said, sir, I got you covered. Sign up for our newsletter. And he said, Jody, because I introduced myself over the phone because I'm a polite human being. He didn't have to hit one for English or two for a real person or anything. I just picked up the phone. But he said, Jody, how do I do that? And I said, sign up for our newsletter. Go, go to rectedgirls.com, scroll go to the all the very way down bottom, to the bottom. And where it says subscribe, you put in your email address. Just put your email. And Super I know simple. people, you've got like four and five emails. Yeah. So put you don't miss out. Put them all in there. Put them all in there. Because in there. you will immediately get information about not Fun Day Friday, but Black Friday. Black Friday. Our Black Friday deals. You will be the only people in America to know. Sign up for our newsletter right now and you will know about our Friday. Our Friday. Friday. I keep wanting yeah. to say it. Yeah. But it's actually Black Friday through Cyber Monday. Cyber Sales Weekend. 99 hours that we are going to go on sale. Huge. Okay. This Never been done before. Never been done before. Uh, we can't. That is it. That's all we can say. Matt said yesterday yeah, he was like jody don't tell him anything i said matt what can i tell him he said tell him what time subscribe it is. 12 a.m friday morning all the way through 3 a.m tuesday morning why do you, why 3 a.m because we don't want the west coast to miss out and it's going to be 99 hours it's a cool thing let's get song by the way we like 99 little What's matchbox up? 20. Yeah. and then exclusive for this friday you know we were on a back order recently Yes. For the RT700 Bulls. Right they're now. Back they're off back order! Order it now, please. But so we don't have to tell you no for Christmas. Order your 
bull right now. Let's get into it, Chef. And it could be they might go on back order again. So if, you're on the, if you're on the fence, they're definitely going to go on back order again by now. Get it out. I swear to you. Free shipping. Okay. So, sorry, let me get quenched. All right, we've got to get started. The last segment was really long. So, we have our three bone prime rib, and we're going to French this. We did was, pay attention, everyone. You're going to take your knife and you're going to score up the bones. So grab your, th your thumbs. Okay, these are the greatest utensils you have. Okay, these are your thumbs. And you can take your thumbs and pull the meat off. And that gives you a very clean bone. And we had a troll on Instagram earlier telling me my technique was flawed. It's not flawed. My thumbs are stronger than yours, okay? We love this trolls, way, by the way. I do not have to uh, scrape the bones with the back of the knife. So again, you're gonna grab your thumbs, okay? And you can, look how easy this is. You just pull that meat off of the bone, just like that. Okay, and then if it gets a little stuck, grab a nip with the knife. And Chef, they teach you that at chef school, right? You know they did. And we'll come around the side here, trim it off. Because you're a world-class master chef, right? In one fact, of, one of, I think the updated 20, number is 21 or 22, but Gordon Ramsay isn't a world-class master chef, is he? He's not. But <laughs> you can take these, cut them into little steaks. We seared these off in the bullseye for a little Scooby snack. So if you've missed out on that exclusive, that's right. Make sure you follow us on all social media platforms because you never know what's going to happen, whether and it's Twitter or Instagram. Everything, the stories. Look at the stories, everybody. You'll learn a lot of so good stuff. So now we have this beautiful three-bone French, and I told you we've got some exceptional spinalis action here. Beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie this up real quick because I, I, I set you up for failure. Oh, you I lassoed you me. Failure. You lassoed me. Set you up for failure. So now on Jody's, we took that rib all the way off. And we're gonna cook it whole because we want added moisture when we do that. So that's gonna protect that meat. And this is more likely how they're gonna get it, right? Correct. So we wanna show you guys how you are gonna cook it. And for me, I'm eating this and my family's eating that. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this tied up real quick. Um, Jody, what are you gonna season yours with? So we've got some, uh, some super awesome kind of mustard is this? Gra is uh, grain super mustard. Super grain yeah. mustard, uh, not chopped up at all. We've also got some horseradish and we've got some garlic here. Me personally, uh, we also got some thyme as well as rosemary. I, I just like to do, you know, a couple of spoonfuls of each. And if you don't like horseradish, cool, don't add it. Yeah, you ain't gotta if you add don't like garlic, I'm sorry. But I like horseradish. And and that's I why like we're doing prime rib three right. ways. And make sure, guys, if you have it laid out like this, that, that you, you don't cross contaminate that is one thing that you know we've been watching live videos all over the internet we've been seeing a lot of cross contamination so we want to make y'all uh, aware of that and people have asked how I tie this up this is just a simple butcher knot so what I do is I take the the string I go over my hand and create a loop and then what I'll do is I'll go over that bone about an inch thick and just pull so slow motion, I go over my hand, make a, a loop, cross, and then I can just pull it tight. All right, I got my mixture ready. I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna be dirty with it. Just gonna dabble it on top right here. Roxanne Zero says, I got oh, you guys some Roxy. awesome local beers from Fresno Cali. She'll be sending our way. What, Roxy? Thank we you, like, Roxy. We like beer. Guys, if you do not follow the Barbecue Queen, I suggest that y'all follow her on all social media. She's feisty, she's fiery, and she cooks uh, amazing food. She's actually, shout out Roxanne, you've actually taught me a few things from watching some of your videos and some of your how-tos. So thank you so much. But she can be found at the Barbecue Queen, BBQ Queen on uh, Instagram as well as Facebook. Uh, thank you for watching, Roxy. We love you. Hopefully, you're liking that Rectech Matador. Oh, snap. Yeah, she said she was going to be sending us some uh, awesome cool pics. So, I've got this all slathered up uh, the best is best to my ability. I think that looks delicious. And I'm not gonna really going to do this side, uh, the bone side, too much because, of course, not many people are going to be munching on that. Except me. <laughs> I like. Uh... So, I'm going to take Vince Heifer Dust. D glove that's available on our website as well rectechgrills.com this is a perfect mixture of salt pepper garlic paprika 
There's also some secret herbs in there that uh, we don't print. See, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use a gourmet style deli mustard. What? I'm cheating. So, and this is a mixture of what? pink peppercorn, green peppercorn. Okay. Shout out pink peppercorns everywhere. <laughs> Little y'all. Lots of flavor. Little y'all. And then we'll season that up as well. And that mustard is gonna act as our binder. Mustard. And I'm gonna mustard. do a little heifer dust. Do you guys like yellow mustard or do you like Dijon or uh, ground mustard? Put it in the comments below, let us know. And if you guys want us to cook anything for Fun Day Friday, please put it in the comments section. Uh, we do go back, we have a moderator right now. He does write down what you guys are saying. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions, improvements, or things you want us to see us cook, put it in there, please. We love you and we wanna keep you watching. So time and temp on these, we're going 275. And this is probably gonna take about three, three hours and 30 minutes. But since we're cooking on the RT700 Bull, we have dual platinum tip thermometer meat probe. That's right. We're gonna probe this in the middle. We're also gonna check it on our app and not worry about Absolutely. it. Absolutely, so take a, uh, take, a, take a peruse with me. Ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Jumping the gun whoa, there, whoa. Jim. Sorry, whoa. everybody. You know how I get excited. So 275, 277. We're Sorry, at 122, means, 121. Gonna... That means we got something on there, don't we? What we got? What do we got on there? Hey, everybody. We got, so we said we were going to do prime rib three ways. Chef's doing Frenched. I'm doing, uh, what is it? You're doing shit. It's <laughs> horseradish. Horse, though. No. It is the herb crusted, and oh, that is the standing is rib roast. Standing rib roast. Sorry, everybody. And then we have a whole Frenched as the third. Ooh, look at that. And I wrap those bones to keep them nice and uh, nice and white. You do not have to, but I'm getting very close and I'm gonna pull that off at about 135 degrees because that's what I want. And that's gonna be a nice medium consistency. So we let that cook and I put that big one on for reference at nine o'clock and it is just after I sure can. So and you guys see, hours on the big one. I go overboard on my seasoning. They, you know, a lot of people say, oh, that's too much. No, it's never too much. Let me give you a stab. Yes, please. Always go in the, here's a trick, come in the side here, right in the middle of that eye. And you can also measure it. You know, yep. you can also take and it if out you know say, your, oh. your rib roast is, is you want to go that deep, just go ahead and plug it right like that. Chef tip, you guys pay attention. Now for our grits. And you can see, we didn't use oh. the, uh, the whole but we do have a pro four hole. Don't worry, you ain't gotta worry about them crimping. They're all right. Hashtag chef fail. No, I mean. So I've got in here a gallon of milk, a pound of butter, because down south, a pound of butter. So a gallon of milk, a pound of butter on high. On high. And then this is gonna be 32 ounces of chicken stock. 48 ounces. 48 ounces. Wait a second, chicken, chicken stock in grits. Okay. Like I said, pay attention. We're gonna take the flavor elevator to the penthouse Woo! right now. Okay. So don't, most don't make your grits with water, Jesus. No. So we all saw that movie, My Cousin Vinny, right? Yes. These are not instant grits, but most respectful Southerners use salt Truth. and water for their grits. But right. we're gonna use some nice creamy grits. So we're gonna bring this up to a nice simmer, and I'm gonna add in our grits. And now when you use stone ground grits. It's about four parts liquid to one part grit, which means if you've got one cup of grits, you need at least four cups of liquid. We're gonna cook these for about an hour. Just repeat that part that you just said right Stone now. ground grits, these aren't quick grits. These aren't instant grits. These aren't packet of cheesy down. grits. Write this down. So you're gonna do four parts liquid to one part grit. We're gonna cook these low and slow. So to help facilitate that, we're gonna do something super amazing and awesome. Uh-oh. Hit him with a chef. Which is we're gonna take this pot, this 22-inch awesome. matador pot, and we're gonna go for a walk. So here we go. I'll help you, Chef. Oh, that pot fits in the bullseye perfectly. So now I freed up my matador to do more stuff. So we're gonna keep this slow cooking so my my grits don't burn, they don't scorch, they can cook nice, low, and slow. We're gonna get some great flavor on these grits. And when they start to thicken up, we'll season them with a little bit of heifer dust, a little bit of freaking Greek. It's gonna be really good. 
But, dude, you blew my mind with putting the matador pan in the bullseye. If you didn't know, it fits. There's a good reason to buy them together. Make sure you get them before Christmas. Hi, Becky. Hey, my beautiful wife. She doesn't know this at all, but these are Brussels sprouts. We showed you earlier. They look like Christmas bells. I am absolutely blown away at how they, how they are grown. This is a Brussels sprout plant. It's amazing. It's freaking amazing. Earth. So we, so we said we're, we're taking the flavor elevator to the top floor. We've got some duck fat. We're going to spray these Brussels sprouts with duck fat. Chef, but you got Pam, we got duck fat, okay? You want flavor? Couldn't you essentially wrap every each and every one of these with an individual piece of bacon? You Wouldn't know, that be? I thought of that this morning and I'm like, <laughs> might be a little too much, might be a little too much grease, but. You could. So, like the corn on the cob, we're gonna season these. I'm gonna go uh, left to right first. What, to are, right, what are we going with on this one, guys? We're gonna go a little honey rib rub. Mm. We want some sweet. And there's a good sweet bit of pepper and, and salt in this rub too, so don't let that honey fake uh, you sweet, out. Yeah. And also available at regtechgrills.com. Get yourself a bundle, get them all. We're gonna roast this at 350 degrees for about an hour. On the RT590 Stampede. Stampede, available at regtechgrills.com. Great mid-sized family grill, guys. I would go ahead and get this because there is a possibility of this grill going on back order as well, guys. The 590 as well as the 700 and 340 feature that wide pellet. Look at that Wi-Fi controller. controller. It's set to 350. It's at 350. You just opened the grill. That's right. You've got there. two, you've got dual meat probes. Those are platinum tip meat probes. Uh, you can actually calibrate those probes. You can calibrate your grill. Uh, you can change up uh, uh, everything on this. Wi-Fi enabled downloader app. Uh, let's come over here and check out the other one. So we got plenty of room to do two large, and these are stalks of Brussels sprouts. These are massive stalks of Brussels sprouts. You can see how they're grown here. They are what's grown the, on the stalk. What's the time of tip on this show? We're going to go 350 for an hour. 350 for an hour on these Brussels sprouts, guys. So we're going to be coming back live at 1230. Is that the right That's time? That's correct. I screw it up every week. 1230. 1230. Uh, make sure you sign up for our newsletter. If you guys want to find out what we're doing, this Black Friday through Cyber Monday, go to rectechgrills.com, scroll all the way down and sign up for the newsletter, okay? I'm not, I'm stressing this to you. Sign up for the newsletter. If you want a bowl by Christmas, please, for God's sake, buy it now. We'll see you at 1230. Some second tash. Time to cook some second tash. Time to cook some second tash. Time to cook some second tash. I feel like if uh, Matt Costa was here, he'd <laughs> he put some Cajun twang in it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm missing. Good. I do. Missing. Cypress soap. You feeling better? Yep. What was he calling? Butter? Butter? Was he? Huh? Belly plop. Belly plop. Belly plop. Belly plop. Belly plop. Belly plop. Close the belly plop. So. Gonna cook some sick tag. 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 I like to spell it S U C K A dash T A S H. Sucka Tash. Sucka Tash. Sucka. How do you really spell it? S U C C O T A S H. Okay. All right. So, can, Chef, can you educate the people at home that aren't familiar? With so we're going to be making shrimp and grits. So first of all, for all you people that don't like grits, buy some stone ground white grits. You hear that drill in the background? That Stevie assembling bowls because they're back in stock. So we've got some delicious, spicy andouille sausage. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my aunt andouille. That was a good one, but no one caught up on that. <laughs> what? I have an aunt andouille. Hey, aunt andouille, I love you. We're going to cook this down for three to four minutes. We want to render out this sausage. We want to get some good color. That we sausage want... is already cooked. It is already cooked. You can eat it right now. It ain't going to hurt you. But we're going to cook this down. Then we're going to hit it with our onions, our bell peppers, both red and green, and our corn, both white and yellow. We're gonna cook that together, we'll add a little butter, we'll add some Dirty Girl, and then we'll add our shrimp. This will go with our grits. Okay, uh, shrimp, what do... <laughs> I started this out for a little wrong, I think. Chef, what do shrimp need to shrimp. live a healthy life? A big bowl of butter. Lots of vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> 
like the ocean. Hey, uh, what day of the week do shrimp not like? Friday. Man's on fire. I love it. Bum, 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 bum. I did. Sorry, <laughs> Chef. Hey, Chef. Hey, Chef. <laughs> what do chefs need to live a healthy lifestyle? Vitamin C. Now, as far as sausage goes, guys, could you, could you cook a different kind of sausage, or does andouille go with the best? Andouille is great. You could use chorizo. Red hot. You could use any of your favorite smoked sausage. If you make a great, uh, like Diamond Dave, a great Hungarian-style paprika-based sausage, it would be fantastic in this. Anything super uh, super spicy works out pretty good. Super spicy? But speaking of uh, spicy, we're ready. We're ready? I think we're ready. You want to grab the board? Yep. Yeah. Not all at once. Diamond Dave it? says he puts Dirty Girl on everything. I like Dirty Girl. So we are at 130 degrees. Internal temp for our French prime rib roast. Check, it, check this out. A whole French prime rib roast. Seven bones, to be exact. Alright, so you have disclaimer. Don't, don't do this with your bare hands. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. It's so heavy, we got to carry it together. Look how beautiful and delicious. Fantastic apples. Man! And we wrap these now we're gonna let this rest for at least a half an hour. So Chef, all you did was essentially French it and then just wrap this aluminum foil. There's nothing really special about it, right? Nope, we okay. just wrapped them to keep the bones nice and, and clean looking. Well, you wanna impress your friends, this, this is, is a super cool, easy way to do it. Yep, and this is gonna be perfectly medium rare in the middle. We pulled this at 130 degrees internal and this will rise up and be how at, long are we gonna let it set Chef? oh at least 45 minutes and it's kind of cool in the back of the warehouse but that's okay this is super hot and amazing so we're gonna let this sit 45 minutes oh yeah absolutely absolutely to let it to let it just set right right and you can see all of that nice pork fat that's come out of that sausage and you can see it's not oh, it's not clear it's got some nice orange to it that's a lot of paprika that's chili we're gonna go ahead and add in our andouille, right? peppers and onions and as justin wilson would say i guarantee you gonna hit me with some dirty girl that's kind of right we'll add about a quarter cup of dirty girl available at rectechgrills.com this is a quarter cup exactly and this is i like dirty girl on steaks Nice. I like it on the chicken thighs. Dirty Girl goes uh, great. Uh, I love, you know, it, it's a great a Bloody Mary rimmer, of course. Yep. Um, it's got that horseradish, shrimp, any seafood, it's great. Any vegetables. Uh, it's one of our spicier rubs. So if you enjoy some spice, that uh, Dirty Girl rub is, is definitely the direction and way to go. Yep. Darren so George gonna... has a joke for you, Jody. What? Who? Darren George has a joke for Old you. Oh, DG. Why yeah. did the apple take Pilates? Work on his core. Boom! Knocked it out of the park. Goodbye <laughs> Dad joke certified. <laughs> Woo! Chef, I was gonna tell you uh, a prime rib joke, but it wasn't well done. Oh! oh. And you're on fire, Jody. Yes! I what feel it! Have? What'd you have for breakfast this morning, Jody? <sighs> Delicious coffee. Oh, I had breakfast, had breakfast shrimp. shrimp. No, I had breakfast shrimp. I had three shrimp this morning for breakfast. I have never eaten shrimp in my life for breakfast. It set me off for the day. Woo. If you have a chance in your life to eat breakfast shrimp, freaking do it. <laughs> Will that recipe be on rectechgirls.com? Yeah, yes, <laughs> chef. I'm at, chef is going to put the breakfast shrimp recipe on rectechgirls.com for you to enjoy. But if you like shrimp seafood, you got to try it in the morning. God, if I wish y'all could smell that. Oh, God, I don't think I was supposed to do that. I don't think I was supposed to. That's okay. That's okay, he says. I need a little more dirty girl, though. Oh, he says there's a little dirty girl here. He likes the spice there. Oh, man, that, um, that goulash last week was awesome, too. That's a great cold weather recipe to do in the matador. No doubt. Now, these matadors, 
man, I encourage you to sign up for our newsletter because we are going to have some great, great, um, God, I keep wanting to say Friday, Friday, Black Friday through Cyber Monday deals. Make sure you sign up for our newsletter. Uh, we can't tell you anymore. That's it. That's it. You've said too much. I really did say here's, too much by starting here's out. Here's a tip for you you might not realize with the Matador. So underneath that pan is that windscreen. You take that windscreen off, put it on your table. Driven. You put your hot matador on the table. You're not messing up your table. You're not messing up your tablecloth. You can bring this whole thing to the table, put it on that windscreen, and Big there's your serving dish right large there. Large ladle. Hey, here's your taco. That'd be great for a here's stew your or a low country boil, right? Oh, no good, good suggestion, Jordan, for sure. So we'll go ahead and we'll add our <coughs> corn. And this corn's already been cooked. It's actually frozen corn. And we'll just give this a minute or two. And what we'll do is we'll mix this all together. We're gonna hit it with some butter. butter. Just it's just a little bit of butter. Ooh, okay? Just a little. Just a little. Not a lot. That's a, just that's a pound. It's just a little. Yeah. Okay? Paula Dean would love this recipe. Paula Dean, if you want a rec tech grill, I know you're out there watching. I know Paula Dean you're watching. Paula, you're watching. But give us a call. Okay, ask for, for Chef Greg or Jody. Paula, we see you out there. We know, we know you're out we there. We know where you live. We're right up the road, baby. <laughs> we, know, we know Michael wants a grill. What's the other brother? Well, that was her, that's actually your husband. That's her, okay, Mike, yeah. What's, what's the two brothers? Like? Oh, um, Scott? You got Bobby. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Scott? I know Bobby's one. We just know them as the sons, the yes. lady and sons. The lady and sons, that's right. That looks friggin' amazing already. So what we're gonna go in here is, then we're gonna take our shrimp. Now these are fresh shrimp, okay? We've got a paper towel on the bottom, so these are very dry. So they're not gonna make nasty shrimp juice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and dump this in. And that is six pounds of 21 to 25, which means there are 21 to 25 shrimp in a pound. My boy Tim Shelburne, I saw him cook uh, 12, da 12 to 13 this last night. So those are going to be much bigger shrimp because there's only 12 to 13 per pound. And if you want a really big shrimp, uh, you actually had a fantastic recipe for the grilled African tiger shrimp. Man. And those are you too, those which things, means you those can, are two shrimp in a pound. Yeah, one to two shrimp per pound. Those things are friggin' delicious. So we're gonna look, go to rectechgirls.com under the recipes tab and go to that uh, African wild, wild African. Grilled African grilled tiger African. shrimp. Go. Got a video uh, for you too. Yep. So we'll let that go for probably eight to 10 minutes. It'd be fantastic. I'm gonna stir my grits. You wanna get that asparagus going? Yeah, we'll get this asparagus going. The chef has already cut these and prepared these. Now you threw something down on the, the table there. What is that? Yeah, this is our uh, cooking mat available at rectegrills.com. What's that retail for? It's uh, $14.99. Not if bad. you buy two or three, it is actually less expensive. Um, but Chef has already cut these for us. And that's dishwasher safe? That is correct. It's dishwasher safe. Now it won't last forever. It will eventually deteriorate. Uh, so. But it's flu-on coated um, and it is super safe to eat off of. Uh, mesh, so of course uh, the air will get around. We gotta get some oil, Chef. We didn't bring any oil up here. We got duck fat. Oh, we Two. got duck fat. I got you. I got you right here. Spray that duck fat. What uh, seasoning we want to use? Ugh, this one's jammed. Jammed. Let's do the freaking Greek. Or do we say rays? We do eat anything. I mean, I honestly, all rays. of our rubs are very, uh, very good across the board. Row row Season that stuff liberally, man. Stuff is great on fries, too, I've discovered. Season them up. It's a great base for a lot of barbecue stuff, but it's also really good. I do it on a, like chicken tenderloins, grill hot and fast on my bullseye with a sear kit. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's a great all-purpose. I got you right here. You're yeah. going to go on the... Uh, You're going on the Stampede, the RT590. Yeah. Oh, right here. The bull. Show you guys how we much roast space. this right alongside that prime ribs. That's a 10 pound prime rib roast with our asparagus. Plenty of room to cook your whole meal in the grill. Where are we getting that duck fat from, Greg? Uh, Duckfat.com? Duckfatspray.com, I believe it is. Duckfatspray.com. Shout out to the uh, Corn Husker Kitchen, folks. And that's very popular in the SCA event. Super, super popular. But we're going to let this rest. And you can see, check out these grits. They're nice and thick and get nice and creamy. Yeah, we're using those 
bullseye. In the bullseye. And you can see, I'm not burning, I'm not sticking, there's no scorching. And those are looking pretty good. You could add cheese in here if you wanted, but we don't have to. Oh, sure. You but guys, add cream um, cheese. Yeah, cream cheese, cheddar. I like the uh, sliced cheese. Well, we will be back at what time, guys? One o'clock? Well, well, oh, 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 okay, okay. This is the we'll fourth segment. We'll be back. Just set your notifications. Set your notifications. Follow us. Hit follow at the bottom of the screen. Uh, make sure you hit share. And then, that way, uh, your friends and family will know how to friend. Most importantly, rib. go to rectechrolls.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Where it says, be an insider. You want to be a part of our family. You do. Okay? You want to hear all of the awesome stuff we're doing. But you will immediately get... The Black Friday deals immediately. It will be emailed to you. So sign your wife up. Sign your kids up. Shots sign all your family your members mom, up. Your dad. Your everybody. Sister, sign everybody up. Sign them up. Scroll. Go to rectechgirls.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Put your email in and your first name. That's it. We'll be back. Set your notifications and make sure you follow us. Thanks, guys. Give me that script. Look at the. Happy birthday to Madeline, Rachel, and Travis. Happy birthdays. <laughs> you sound like the lobster. And from Benlo, the our moderator out there. Yeah, don't pass out. Benlo, happy birthday, Benlo, the moderator. <laughs> oh, cheese and crackers. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> sound, like, sound like the lobster from the oh, I don't feel very good. <laughs> <laughs> Please say follow the yellow road. What? No. No. Do follow us. So these grits. Hold on. Save it for later. If you watched on Twitter. Food. Wait. I, food. If you watched on Twitter, I, I, I caved. You did. I caved. Our band of. <sighs> this was just going to be grits with a little bit of butter and some amazing chicken stock and some uh, milk. But it is now turned into some amazing grits. Add cheddar cheese, mm. add cream, cream cheese, cheese. Mm. add smoked add gouda, gouda. Mm. add blue cheese, blue cheese, add Swiss cheese, mm. add yes. every cheese we had in the fridge. Y'all, y'all. I'm all right with that. I gotta take a drink before I even partake. What are you drinking? <coughs> Why, the only beer that you should drink? Delicious, Delicious Shiner Box. Mm. So we need to do grits and shrimp. Shout out to my boy Greg. Need a little bit of everything on here. Oh, what's got? This is Sakatash on, on grits. Illinois checking in. Mm. When was Illinois Day? That was a couple of Friday. That was a few Fridays ago, right? Indiana Day today. Indiana That's Day right. today. Happy Indiana mm. Day, everyone. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For a cold, wet football yeah, game. Well, this is the way to go, folks. We had this at RecTech Academy. We fed all the staff. And was the it police. Thursday for lunch or Wednesday? All the staff. It was Wednesday. All the police, all the volunteers, Man. all of the uh, instructors. Brings me back. Uh, even the um, random uh, employees that were just walking around the place. And if you're considering a RecTech Matador, check it out. You might need to drop down a little bit. We're using the windscreen as a trivet. So we're not messing up our tables. And you can literally... That's a French word, right, Chef? Yeah, man. Bring the party to you with that one right there. You got double. Double. Got a double going on right here. We finished those grits on the bullseye because that 22-inch lid fits perfectly in the 22-inch 22 22-inch 22 pot. Bullseye. That's right. So we've got some sour cream here. We're going to make a horseradish sauce. Ooh. And this is going to be... How much sour cream, Chef? This is about uh, two cups. That's definitely more than a dollop of daisy. It is, in fact. We'll add about a quarter cup of horseradish sauce, about a tablespoon of grain mustard, some fresh rosemary some fresh thyme, and then everybody's favorite, Ben's heifer dust. Everybody's favorite is Ben's heifer dust. It's my favorite. It's great on everything. So this would be your like your traditional horseradish sauce for a prime rib. So this is what the restaurant would give you with your prime rib to complement, correct? No doubt. And those fancy people might use creme fraiche. Oh, creme fraiche is good too. But we're gonna cheat you sour cream. I like creme crema. Good stuff. Oh, Mexican good cheese. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and slice off a steak right here. Yeah. Now, is this sauce, Greg, similar to like a Bernays sauce? It is not. not. A Bernays no, is no. like hollandaise. So this is the end cut, and that is still perfectly medium right there. Look at that juice. Okay, I'll wait. I'll do. I'll do the Jody. Look at Squeeze that. Squeeze that thing, girl. 
Mm. That's not blood. It's not blood. It's protein water. And the nice part about the end cut is the fact that you have a bunch of seasoning on that stuff. No right? doubt. I like a lot of mine, bro. There you go. I want I want it to bite me when I eat it. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I want to put more on that shit. I think so. So do we have a time and temp on this? So after you eat that second bite. See. So this was a 20 pound that we French. 22 pound prime rib. We went three and three quarter hours, 3.25, to a perfect 130 degrees, and that rested to a nice medium. And yours might take a little bit longer or a little bit less, but you're shooting for 130 degrees. They want it to sit at least 30 to 45 minutes. Absolutely, that's too good to not eat it right there. Mm. Mm. I'm still going back to this right here. Mm. This is incredible. Mm. Mm. And you also did these whole stocks of Brussels sprouts. These are whole stocks. And we found these at where? We went to a, we had them at Sam's Club, Kroger. I've actually seen them everywhere this year. Really? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. We'll keep going back to it then. Mm. Common chimp on these. We went 350 for 45 minutes. So would it be, still be 350 for 45 minutes if they were off the stock? Maybe a little less, but not too much less. These are seasoned with duck fat and uh, some Rossaruski's honey mm. rib rub. Mm. That sweetness. And what a great table display too. Really rounds it out. Mm. Um, the savory, you know, it's like a smaller cabbage. Mm -hmm. um, and then my first chef tip that you ever taught me was with asparagus. And it was when you get it fresh and you bend it and where it breaks is actually where you should cut all of the asparagus off. So thank yep. you for that. Ooh, that front row master blend on there is really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't really want to do too much sweet with that asparagus, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> While we were doing our asparagus research, we found out that um, 20 to 40% of Americans are unable to smell the, st the stench of their <laughs> urine after they eat asparagus. So there are people out there that actually don't think that their pee, they think that their pee does not stink after they eat asparagus. Asparagus can But it really good. does. It kind of does. Because the chemical reaction that happens in your body is what actually creates uh, that smelly stuff in there and absolutely everybody has it. So, but it's, it's really weird, but God, I love asparagus. Because with that grill mat, it's super, super easy, super, super simple. Not much prep. Nope. You don't have to shave it or anything like that. So I think, you know, because Thanksgiving is Thursday. Ugh, you don't remind me. I think I'm making shrimp and grits for breakfast. I think I'm going to make shrimp and grits for breakfast. Yep. You guys can check out my blog on uh, Thanksgiving. I don't know. It was like Thanksgiving prepared it, preparedness. I mean, what's or the best size grill? grill yeah, what's the best, best for your family? Check it out on rectechgrills.com. Mm -hmm. Up at the top, you can see the word blog. Click on that. Chef Greg's got some amazing blogs on there. Uh, I just did one. We, we tend to release one once a week. Um, check that out. You can see what grill is kind of best for you and your family. But me, I like cooking breakfast uh, Thanksgiving morning as well. It kind of kind of put puts you in the right frame of mind. Uh, you don't tend to get hangry uh, around dinner And I'm skipping lunch because I want to throw down for dinner. Absolutely. For dinner. <coughs> but we've got this video will be released on YouTube from on Monday. So make sure if you have any friends or family that are curious how they're cooking this, uh, we cook this prime rib, you can shoot them that link on Monday. Mm -hmm. We also do mail day Monday. Absolutely. And late last week was awesome because Jody did an AMA. Yeah, ask me anything. Super awesome. We're going to start doing that on the regular on Wednesdays. So Wednesdays on Instagram is going to be Ask Us Anything, either Chef Greg or myself. We may even mix in. We might be like tech people. We might actually do our tech guys, uh, Boss Ray. Man Ben. Greg, uh, Ray, uh, you never know. So it's going to be Ask Me Anything on Wednesdays. Uh, I don't want to remind you guys about our closeout items on the website. Those will not be around forever. Those are going away. You will never be able to buy those items again once they are all sold out. Don't forget, sign up for our newsletter. If you literally sign up right now, you will find out what the deals for uh, Black Friday through Cyber Monday will be. Um, yeah. A whole if you want a freaking grill by Christmas, yeah. buy it now and we will hold it for you. 
The Bulls were on back order yesterday. They're off of back order today. They may go back on back order tomorrow. You never know. Just depends on how I many know. bulls people buy now. So if you want a bull for your relative, God, for the love of God, buy it now. Please. We hate the phone calls. Hey, can I get a grill by Christmas? No. Buy it now, guys. Please. If you want a grill by Christmas, buy it now. Um, but again, I can't... Uh, uh, preface enough that mail day mondays caption this tuesdays we will do ask me the ask me anything on wednesdays we put a reddit you also go to the grocery store on wednesdays and we get prepared for monday we friday uh we upload a recipe to reddit uh but don't forget about we every we have a weekly recipe every week at rectetrolls.com uh, make sure you follow us make sure you set your notifications and if you have any questions out there ask us. make sure you send, them, the comment send us comment section messages. please send us a message on facebook instagram be more than happy to help. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Follow Chef Greg on uh, Facebook and Instagram. You're already cooking on the greatest pellet grill out there. Your Absolutely. Thanksgiving can't be any easier. We've got recipes for you guys on rectechgirls.com. There's YouTube videos. There's no way that you can't succeed this Thanksgiving. You're going to crush it. Absolutely. Just yeah. like I'd crush that bowl of Jesus. Sherman grits. Let's go right over. But really good. we got two minutes, she no. says. No, she peace. says peace out. So, um, no recap. Thank you guys so much for following us, uh, watching us, and seeing us on this adventure. Just remember, don't overthink it. Have fun when you're cooking. We love you. Call us if you need us. And go on rectechgrills.com right here. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Do this. Go to Hit the share be button. an insider. Join our family. Subscribe. You don't want to miss out. You will literally find out the Black Friday deals today. You will literally do it. Right now. Sign up for our newsletter. We love you. We thank you. We'll see you at the Rectech. Do, 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 do.